Today I'm gonna tell you how to do Red Nurse makeup from my favorite Silent Hill movie. I adore this movie so much. This is exactly what brought me to Silent Hill fandom many years ago. And Red Nurse from the movie is an homage to the best character of the whole game series, Lisa Carland. It will be very quick and easy makeup, without any specific techniques, with plastic and stuff, but we will need a lot of blood for it. You can just buy already made fake blood, nowadays it's a pretty common and cheap thing. Or you can make it by yourself, as I did. There is a lot of tutorials on the internet how to make good fake blood, and it will be even eatable. I used this one which consists sugar powder, cocoa and food coloring. Basically, you just have to make sugar syrup for consistency similar to blood, add cocoa for a deep warm color and structure too, and then food coloring for redness. I use it not only red, but blue and yellow color too, so it will look more natural and deep. This plot is 100% organic, well, yeah, <laughs> you can eat this, but because of it, you should know that it quickly expires, mine covered with malt, pretty gross, yeah. But perfect for cheap use, and there was a lot of it. Back then, when I did this cosplay, I had beautiful long blonde hair, so I used them for Eliza hairstyle. Even though she also had some dark hair underneath her blonde, but I think that hair are not as necessary in this cosplay, yeah? But also, I made this nurse cute little hat out of thick drawing paper. Just used this pattern for it. So this makeup started quite usual. First of all, foundation. You may think that it's unnecessary for this look to use a foundation, but it actually creates perfect base for applying bright colors next. Yeah, colors. I didn't use concealer though, for this exact reason, and fixed everything with loose transparent powder next. I did my eyebrows with pencil and some colored brow mascara. And that is pretty much it for the base makeup. Such a uh, no makeup makeup, isn't it? <laughs> and now the funniest part is coming. So to create natural, well natural, natural look of the wounds, I used all my red lipsticks collection. Because blood is not only a red color. So I used deep red liquid lipstick, more bluish black red, almost brown lipstick and just basic cold toned red lipstick. So I can mix it for a more natural look, even though I have a fake blood, I still needed a good base for wounds and this mix of colors work it very good. If you need to paint, whatever you need, if you want it to look natural, you should use multiple colors for highlights and shadows and for base tones and half tones. I applied those colors in different parts and mixed order on my eyes and also draw red scars that come into eyes as it is on the reference. It looked like nurse got her eyes injured after she looked at poor Alessa's burned body and she paid for her curiosity. And she also has very big scar at her face from forehead through cheek and on her chin. So I painted it too as well with brush. By the way, it is actually not that safe to put lipstick at the eyelids. Maybe you should use red eyeshadows for this, but exactly lipstick create the look that we needed. It's very OP and has shiny finish, very similar to Fresh One's look. And even though I didn't use any plastic for it and scars may look a little flat, but it still looks very natural. But it was still a little bit raw and messy, so to make it more accurate to the reference, I took a toothpick and literally scratched my face <laughs> with it and made little extra dashes. It took some time, but adding extra details for the look really made everything more natural. Don't be lazy to do this and work through every wand. This made everything extra smooth and believable. To match my eyes with warm eye makeup look, I did my water and lash lines with black eye pencil. There is actually no lashes in this makeup, but since I don't want to rip off my eyelashes, I just curled it a little bit. I believe it helped it to be not as visible for them. 
and finally we can use our blood supplies and a ounce of napkins I just placed it with brush to the wall red spots and ones that I created and exactly because I use it liquid lipstick it doesn't smudge it and erase it because of it now when I look at this I think that I should have used more of this blood on like my entire face well I guess I just felt sorry for the mad robe and I did a lot of funny faces, not because I felt sorry also for my face, but for drops of the blood so they could flow down my skin naturally and left traces. I took bigger brush and tried to spray blood on my face, which is very good idea, actually, but you better do it with something like toothbrush, it works much better than painting brush. And also, I used this blood as a contouring, yeah, <laughs> so my face wouldn't look that flat. It actually blends really very good though. But I suggest you to use different products for your contouring. And it should be pretty cold, grayish-brown color than your regular contouring, because it will help you to achieve unhealthy look on your face. Yeah, you want it to look unhealthy here. And after I put on my white contacts, I just smudged almost everything under the eyes, yeah. For me, it is still a challenge to put on contacts, but I also wouldn't have been able to do my makeup in them, cause you can barely see anything with it. Still, it's much easier to just fix everything with same lipstick and blood, and it actually like creates another layers for more complicated look. And that's pretty much it! I really love this makeup, it's really very easy to make with affordable easy tools and techniques. But it gives you such an interesting result, it looks really impressive. I hope it will help you not only with your Lizzie Garland cosplay, but also just for some other fake balance and scars makeup. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye! Happy Halloween!